welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at the Texas Instruments TI 99 uh, peripheral expansion, a Raspberry Pi, and the rather delightful TP, which is a TI PI card. What is it? Well, it is an expansion for the TI 99 that fits into the PEB or peripheral expansion box. It connects to a Raspberry Pi Zero. Raspberry Pi 2, Raspberry Pi 3, and I believe the Pi 4 now. Now this card is quite clever. You buy the card, it comes with the ROM that you can see on there, which mine says TP DSR bin, 23rd of July 20. And I bought this card probably a year ago, and uh, I've only just used it uh, yesterday for the first time. Um, I had some free time, so I thought I'd dig all the TI stuff out and uh, plug it in and see what gives. So, what do you get? Well, when you buy the card, you get the card itself. You don't get the Raspberry Pi. The card comes with a cable, and the cable connects like thus. Don't get it the wrong way around, or you will fry the card. And if you don't fry the card, you'll certainly damage the Raspberry Pi. It's important to make sure the connections are correct. It's on the GPIO port and it connects near to the USB side. There's a little tab there, I'm not sure if you can see it, on the 3D printed plug. It's quite clever, it stops you plugging it in the wrong way, kind of. It doesn't stop you plugging it in there of course, but you can plug it in there. So, you connect the card up, then what? Well, it won't work because you need to connect power to the Raspberry Pi. And the reason for this is quite simple. I mean, I was going to wire it into the PEB before it dawned on me that the Raspberry Pi does actually have to boot and be ready, i.e. loading its own little operating system, before it can communicate with the card. So you need to power the Raspberry Pi first for about 40, 50 seconds, maybe not quite that long then power the PEB up and then power the TI. Once you've done that you can boot into TI Basic and type in call TI Pi or TP, T-I-P-I, -I, press return and you will boot into a config sys with lots of uh, variables for this card. I've mounted the Pi on the card as you can see just to make it a little bit neat and tidy. Some people mount them externally. I'm unsure what that connector's for if someone can tell me, that would be helpful. But anyway, that jumper there is for selecting the different CRUs. And the CRUs are uh, for basically, it's in PC terms, I guess it's like the um, IRQs and what have you. So you select the different jumper range there, depending on what cards you have connected in the PEB. This is the default, is it zero or one or whatever it says? And um, that will work fine if you don't have a floppy disk connected up. I don't have a floppy disk connected up, so I just unplugged it. What does this card do? Well, this card uh, was created by Jedi Matt with Electric Lab. Um, they do have a long thread on Atari Age, which I would recommend you watch. Um, Yoda's kindly made an appearance as we're speaking about Jedi Matt. Uh, and what he's decided to do, or these guys have decided to do, is to make a connection between a Raspberry Pi and a TI-99 to get them to give uh, some local area network, some Wi-Fi, and disk transfer on the TI-99. And it works really well. Now...
to an internet yesterday, so I don't know how to use it all yet. But it allows you to connect to BBSs. There's a built-in telnet. to your home network so you can drag and drop files and it's got virtual disk drives built in so you can load disk images which is pretty much everything you need now Jedi Matt started this in let me see when his first post was it was May 2017 so I as usual I'm a little bit late to the show um, but his initial mission according to his web blog was to provide a memory mapped IO to the Pi provide disk Raspberry Pi hosted files on the TI-99, provide medium TCP, UDP and HTTP level networking on the 4A and tinker modes accessible. Now you can have full access to the Raspberry Pi via the TI-99. system and you can fiddle about to your heart's content like I say it's got a telnet on there and disk access as well now both of those things are quite interesting to me there are many other commands included as well you can get into the telnet and you can sort of get online uh, from TI basic as well you will need 32k it won't function without well it won't function properly without 32k anyway so I'm going to have a little read up now and find out what else it can do and we'll do a, probably do a streaming video showing this thing working while I find out some more details. So what we have here is a standard Texas Instruments 
peripheral expansion box. It's very much like a PC, in as much as you pop in and out cards. That's the 32K RAM expansion. As you can see, it's a lot better built than anything a PC had. So you take your TI Pi, once you've connected it up, make sure the cables are on correctly, and you set the CRU base. Mine's at standard. You have an LED light there as well, which will light up and the LEDs at the front of the PEB. And you just connect it in. And that's it. But you do have to have USB power, of course. And make sure that your SD card is actually connected up and running. So that's power connected. And you're ready to go. And there is the uh, TI PI card connected or TP. Uh, this one's from the Bruin Academy in the States. It came in, uh, it came sort of July last year, 2020, and I've only just got around to powering it up. So, how do we use it? We power up the Raspberry Pi first for about 30 seconds, power up the expansion box, and then turn on the TI99. If the TI99 is blank and doesn't boot up to the colorful logo screen, it's probably because the CRU base is causing uh, a conflict with one of the cards. If you have a hard disk drive, um, a RAM card, or some other memory fitted, there could be a, a conflict. So you might need to change that jumper. So only one thing left to do, and that's to go try this, see how it works, and we'll have a little chat about the history on what the TI Pi or TP is supposed to be, what it's supposed to do, what its features and what its functions are. All good.
thank you for listening to me um, and I shall see you soon